everyone, I'm Chris Hernandez. This is the Weekly Report, your look at news about City Hall programs and services. City and community leaders recently celebrated the groundbreaking of the downtown Kansas City streetcar line. This event included high fives for the construction workers as they started digging up the pavement on Main Street. The first phase of construction will upgrade Kansas City's 100-year-old water and sewer system, and then they will lay in the actual rails on the street. Uh, today we begin our streetcar journey with its first phase that includes upgrades to our century-old water and sewer system and we are doing that in conjunction and coordinating so that we are getting two things done simultaneously replacing the century-old water and sewer system while we're laying the rails for the streetcar that's a good return on the investment and that's a smart way to do business Once completed in late 2015, the two-mile downtown streetcar will travel along Main Street between the River Market and Union Station. For more information, visit kcstreetcar.org. The Health Department will host the Hope Dental Clinic throughout the month of June. Hope Dental will provide free dental services for children ages 18 and younger by appointment. The clinic is located on the first floor of the Health Department at 2400 Troost Avenue. For more information or to schedule an appointment, please call 816 Six seven nine twenty one ninety eight. The Economic Development Corporation of Kansas City has awarded the Blue Hills Business Center and Contractor Incubator with its annual Community Development Cornerstone Award. This award recognizes dynamic and exciting contributors to Kansas City's community development. The $3 million Blue Hills Business Center opened last September at 50th and Prospect at the site of a former brownfield. The new center houses a business incubator designed to transform the neighborhood and spark new local jobs. The center is also LEED Gold and Energy Star certified. Keep in mind that had, had this not happened, we, we would be uh, calling these city council members asking for money for demolition. This would have been an ugly, vacant lot. And so we have a lot of stuff going on around the country, in Washington in particular, that's nasty and ugly. Uh, and I'm, I, I'm, I celebrate the fact that here in our community, we've got some pretty good stuff going on. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments. Hi, I'm Janet O'Hagan with Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities. June is a busy month at your city facilities with dance recitals, weddings, graduations, and conventions taking place. We offer numerous venues where we can make your special day as beautiful and unique as you are. The Little Theater at the Kansas City Convention Center is the perfect location for your wedding reception. An intimate room of stunning elegance, gleaming marble facade, a balcony, stage, and jeweled art deco light fixtures, it creates an exquisite setting for your unforgettable day. For larger weddings, the Grand Ballroom is a beautiful state-of-the-art venue with dramatic views of the Kaufman Performing Arts Center and South Skyline from a 38-foot high glass wall that opens to an outdoor plaza area. For an incredible outdoor event, Barney Alice Plaza is nestled under the city's breathtaking skyline. Enjoy the tree-lined park with fountains, sculptures, and seating areas in a unique urban park setting. For more information about our unique event spaces, visit kcconvention.com and click on Weddings and Special Events or call the Convention Center at 816-513-5000. Kansas City will host the College Board Advanced Placement Reading Program from June 2nd through the 17th, bringing 4,000 professors and educators to the metro area. During their two-week stay, educators will score free response essay questions for advanced placement exams. More information is available at ets.org. Skills USA returns to Kansas City June 23rd through the 28th for the 50th Annual National Leadership and Skills Conference. More than 6,000 outstanding career and technical education students, all state contest winners, will compete hands-on in 99 different trade, technical, and leadership fields. The competitions are open to the public and free of charge. 
learn more about events taking place at Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities, visit kcconvention.com and click on the upcoming events or call the Convention Center at 816-513-5000. Good afternoon. How are you all doing today? Oh, come on. It is beautiful out. I want to thank everybody for coming out to the Show Me State Games Kansas City Torch Run. I'm Michelle Bogwith. I'm a meteorologist at Fox 4 in, here in Kansas City. Used to be working in Columbia, Missouri, and I actually participated in the Show Me State Games for eight or nine years, and I totally rocked kickball. That was my sport. <laughs> Unfortunately, all my friends have spread out and we no longer are able to do that, but um, I'm a big supporter of the Show Me State Games and I'm really glad that you all are here. For those who don't know about the Show Me State Games, we are an Olympic style sporting festival in which there are over 40 sports in which you can participate in. We cater to all walks of life, male, female, age doesn't matter and we feel we have something to offer for most for almost any Missourian across this great state. We are celebrating our 30th anniversary this summer. The games have been around since 1985. As a matter of fact, in 1985 we offered a handful of sports. That's less than 10 with both hands and had a 600 athlete participation. Last summer we offered 42 sports and had almost 26,000 participants in the games in, in the mid-Missouri area. So we're certainly excited about our 30th anniversary and again being here today to create enthusiasm and promote the Show Me State Games. As you can see the torch behind me, the torch is very symbolic. If you go back to the Olympics, to the Olympic Games, there's one consistent, regardless of the location, wherever it may be. The one thing that travels with the Olympics always is the torch. And being the only Olympic style sporting event in the state of Missouri, we feel very, very fortunate that we have the torch that we can take throughout the state and promote the Show Me State Games. Kansas City, again, thank you so much for allowing us to be here. We enjoy this beautiful day. And lastly, but not leastly, please recognize our volunteer runners who are gonna eat up the pavement down here on the plaza. I've had people ask me, why do you sponsor the, the Show Me State Games and the Torch Run? We want to get the word out. We really want people to come and compete uh, throughout the various events that the Show Me State Games offers. Uh, it's a healthy, fun, safe, competitive environment, and we really want to support that. So I'm, I'm thrilled to be here today. I'm going to be taking some pictures, so runners, don't forget to smile. So Thank you. We're proud of our park system here in Kansas City, and we're glad that you chose Mill Creek Park. and here by the beautiful J.C. Nichols Fountain. That's uh, what parks are all about. They're meant to be used, they're meant to be enjoyed, and they're meant to be activities outside. And so we're very glad that this opportunity was made available to us today, and we look, uh, look forward to the day's activities. So just want to say hi, thank you very much. I stand here today on behalf of the Kansas Missouri Board of Parks and Recreation Commissioners. That's the governing body for Kansas City's 210 parks throughout our city. Go to our website, kcparks.org. Is that right, Heidi? And then you can do hashtag KC Parks. Is that the other thing you can do? Okay. Social media, we'd like to get the word out and uh, about our activity. We get in our newsletter and learn about our great parks here in Kansas City. And again, thanks for the opportunity to be here today and uh, look forward to, uh, I'm not sure about tearing up the pavement today, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll enjoy. Thank you. And then we'll kind of get organized for some pictures. And then uh, when we're ready, off we'll go through the park. Okay? Kansas City, Missouri, let the games begin! The city will host large recycling events on Saturday, June 7th at the Mohart Center and on Saturday, June 14th outside Winnetonka High School. Both events take place from 8 a.m. to noon. Residents may bring in their household hazardous waste, documents to shred, as well as leaves and brush. Household hazardous waste being accepted will include antifreeze, car and household batteries, oil, paint, paint-related chemicals, and tires. Individuals should bring proof of Kansas City residency. The events are limited to the first 400 vehicles. 
If you're looking for an activity for your children this summer, consider a summer camp with the city. Many of the city's community centers offer affordable day camps all throughout the summer. These include field trips, sports, arts and crafts, and more. For a schedule of summer enrichment camps, visit kcparks.org and click on Recreation, then click on Spring Summer Camps. Middle and high school students can also attend Club KC on weekend nights. Club KC is a Mayor's Night program that provides youth with free entertainment and activities in a safe environment. Learn more at kcmayor.org slash mayorsnights. The Public Improvements Advisory Committee, also called PIAC, is a 13-person committee that collects resident input regarding public improvements and makes recommendations to the Mayor and City Council regarding those citywide and neighborhood portions of the capital budget. PIAC invites residents to attend its new round of upcoming neighborhood hearings scheduled throughout June and July. The hearings start Thursday, June 5th from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. at the Cornerstone Wesleyan Church in the 1st District. For a complete listing of upcoming hearings, please visit kcmo.gov and search for PIAC hearings. For more information about any of today's stories, please log on to kcmo.gov and search for the Weekly Report. That does it for this edition of the Weekly Report. I'm Chris Hernandez. Have a great week.